You know that moment when you realize your cozy family vacation to the Alps might involve more than just yodeling and some hot chocolate? No? Well, Gretchen certainly didn't expect her trip to turn into a scene from a horror movie either. But hey, who hadn't had a vacation go sideways? When I first saw the trailer for Cuckoo, I was more excited than a kid in a candy store. The trailer promised a creepy horror experience set against the stunning backdrop of the German Alps, a teenage girl, a remote resort, some bloody visions. What could go wrong? Well, as it turns out, quite a lot. Cuckoo is a movie that clearly has big aspirations, and in many ways, the film succeeds. The horror set pieces are well-crafted, with a few scenes that generally got my heart racing and made me double-check my locks at night. The sound design in particular is top-notch, adding layers of unease that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. But as much as I wanted to love this movie, and trust me, I really did, unfortunately, Cuckoo feels like it's trying to do too much at once, and the result is a film that's more confusing than terrifying by the time the credits roll. Let's start with the positives, because Cuckoo isn't a total miss. The setting is fantastic. The German Alps are as beautiful as they are menacing, providing the perfect backdrop for a horror movie. The first half of the movie is filled with creepy moments that keep you on the edge of your seat, wondering what will happen next. But here's where things start to unravel. As the movie progresses, it becomes clear that Cuckoo is trying to juggle too many ideas at once. There's a psychological horror, the family drama, the supernatural elements, and a few other plot threads that I won't spoil here. It's a lot to take in, and the film doesn't do a great job of tying everything together. One of the biggest issues is the character development, or lack thereof. Gretchen, our protagonist, starts off as a sympathetic character, but as the story progresses, her motivations become increasingly unclear. By the time we reach the third act, it's hard to understand why she's making certain decisions, which makes it difficult to stay invested in her journey. And it's not just Gretchen. The other characters suffer from the same lack of clarity. Their actions don't always make sense and the movie doesn't give us enough insight into their motivations to make the decisions feel believable. This lack of character development leads to a serious problem in the third act, a complete lack of tension. In a horror movie, the final act is where things should really ramp up, where the stakes are at their highest and attention is almost unbearable. But in Cuckoo, the third act feels more like a series of disjointed events than a cohesive climax. Without clear motivation or a strong sense of direction, the horror elements lose their impact, and what should be a nail-biting finale ends up feeling flat. Cuckoo isn't a horrible movie. There's some generally great moments in here, from the chilling sound design to the haunting visuals, and there's clearly a distinct voice behind the camera, someone who had a vision for what this movie could be. But somewhere along the way, that vision got lost in a maze of plot threads and half-baked ideas. What Cuckoo needed was a tighter script, something that focused more on developing the characters and less on trying to cram in as many horror tropes as possible. With a clearer sense of direction and stronger character motivations, the movie could have built up a truly terrifying conclusion. Instead, we're left with a film that has flashes of brilliance but ultimately doesn't deliver on its promise. Would I recommend Cuckoo? It depends. If you're a fan of scenic horror and can appreciate a movie for its mood and setting, there's definitely something here for you. The visuals and sound design alone make it worth the watch. And there's a few moments that will stick with you long after the credits roll. But if you're looking for a horror movie with strong, coherent plot and well-developed characters, you might want to look elsewhere. Cuckoo is a film that has a lot of potential but doesn't quite live up to it. It's like a beautifully wrapped present that ends up being a bit of a letdown when you finally open it. At the end of the day, I'm glad I saw Cuckoo, even if it didn't fully meet my expectations. It's a film that tried to do something different. And while it didn't completely succeed, it's still an interesting entry into the horror genre. Just don't go in expecting the next great horror classic. If you enjoyed this review and want to hear more about the latest movies, be sure to check out my channel, Troy Hill Talks. I got plenty more reviews coming up. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's talk movies.